What's going on, everybody? Mark Foles with Lucky Dog Marketing. And one of the questions we hear most often from clients and just businesses that we talk to is, how do I get rid of those bad reviews that we've gotten on Google? Now, there's no way to automatically do it. You can't just click a button and have a review disappear. But there are a couple of processes that you can use to try to get negative reviews taken off of your profile, especially if they're not legitimate. Now, people mostly know the existing way. You've probably seen this. You go to your Google business profile, you click on reviews, and then if you see a review that isn't legitimate that you want to remove, you just click on these three dots, click report review, and it's going to bring you up here where you can pick one of these that uh, correspond to the review of why it should be removed off topic, spam, conflict of interest, profanity, bullying, harassment discrimination, hate speech, personal information. You click on one, hit support uh, and uh, send report, and it's going to send it to Google. Google's algorithm will look at it and determine whether or not it should be removed. Now you can do off topic on almost any negative review you get, and there's a chance it'll be removed. So it's honestly worth taking that chance to try to get a review taken down. Do not go through all of your negative reviews if you've got a decent number of them and mark them all off topic on the same day, that's just basically saying to Google, uh, you're trying to game the system. But if it's a legitimately fake review, if it's off topic, if it's spam, if it's a former uh, disgruntled former employee or something like that, it is definitely worth trying this to remove it. Now, there's a new way that Google has given us to try to remove reviews as well. Now, to do that, you're going to go to this URL right here, support.google.com slash business slash workflow slash 9945796. Now, don't worry about writing that down. I'm linking it down in the comments. You can just click on that, and it's going to take you to uh, your review uh, dispute spot. So in here, you're going to see where it says manage your Google business reviews. Manage reviews in your Google business profile with our easy automated self-help flow, blah, 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 blah. Basically, the first thing you do is you want to confirm that you're in the right email to uh, reach the account that you want to contest a review on. If not, hit switch account. Next, you're going to hit confirm. And then you're going to pick out which business you want to review. I'm just going to pick us. We don't have any negative reviews, but I don't want to go into clients right here on this video. Then you're going to confirm uh, whether you've reported the view. If you've already reported it, don't do it again. <laughs> right? Just report it one way. Click on report any review. Now it's going to ask, you know, which one do you want to report? So all of ours are good. So I'm obviously not going to report any of them, but I'm going to pick out one just to show you. Click on report and it's going to bring up these same options. Off topic, spam, conflict of interest, profanity, bullying, harassment, discrimination, hate speech, personal information. Now, if there's a legal issue in here, then you click on this button to report that. Otherwise, you're just going to go in here and you're going to report reviews. And then you click on this to submit. Obviously, since this isn't a negative review, I'm not going to do that. Uh, that's the easy way to report reviews. There's two easy ways to do it. Go to the review, do it through there, or go to that link and report. Honestly, you should do this with and all of your negative reviews if you can. There's a chance Google will take them down. Again, don't go on a spree and report You know, 10 of them in a day. Uh, space it out so it looks more natural. Uh, but you can do this with any negative review, and there's a chance it'll get taken down. Uh, especially if it's legitimate. If it's legitimately fitting into one of those categories, there's a pretty good chance that Google will take it down for it. If you got any questions about this, feel free to reach out. We are more than happy to answer them.